copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one we're going to be looking at another uk meet the tyrants i wouldn't say this copy was a tyrant i would say this is actually a good interaction and if more officers act like him it it would make policing in a whole give them a better image but that's just my opinion. Others might have a different opinion on this, so we'll just get straight into it. And let's have a look. That's really kind of you. Well, really it's a, kind. it's a, it, well, it is because it's a preservation of a scene. Yeah, There's been well, an accident. We came out to offer help as well. We, this is our house. Yeah, this is our but this is a scene, a forensic scene. You can't just come in for a forensic scene. I know it's, well, I know it's just there. Yeah, I don't know. It's Yeah, well, it is common sense not to let you in. Yeah. Yeah, well, think about crime scene management. Sam, with this sergeant on this one, I don't believe that the that uh, person should be allowed to go into the crime scene to go down that street there. I'm pretty sure there's other routes they could take to go around and pop out where she wants to pop out. She's clearly chatting bubbles. She turned around and said, I live there and I've come out to see if they need any help. Help with what? The cars have been chopped up. The fire brigade have been and gone, done their job. The victim's no longer there. So you don't live there. Plus, why you come on a bike if you live there? Liar. That was a bit harsh, don't you think? What, not let us through? Yeah. No, because ultimately, people. Sh this, this scene tape says, "Please do not cross." And I appreciate. Yes, this, but I appreciate people do live yeah, close but by and people come through. Technically, you've only put the tape there and there because of that poster. No, technically. Yeah. What were you going to tie it to otherwise then? Well, it doesn't matter what we tie it to otherwise. Technically, twenty-five meters around that car is a scene, which is where the cones go out. All yeah, the that's more than twenty-five there. meters to that post. No, it's not more than twenty-five meters to that post at all. It is. It isn't. It is. I can measure it and it won't be 25 metres that post. It's probably smaller than what it needs to be. Really. That's about 32.4, I'd say. So, that's, no, that was funny. 32.4. That that made me giggle. But at, again, I am with the copper on this one. It's a crime scene at the end of the day. There's been an accident. We don't know if that person's uh, Injured or seriously injured, she's been chopped out of the car, so something obviously serious has happened. Hopefully there's no serious injuries or life-threatening injuries. And this person involved in the accident makes a full recovery. But they do have to block everything off. We don't know what's happened. I can see skid marks on the floor. Maybe a car's just come out of that corner too fast and rolled. We don't know. So in this instance, I'm with the copper. They have to close it off and wait for crime scene investigation to come and do all that good stuff. I'm not having your 32 point anything, unless you measure it. Same point four, I'm not having it. I measure it. So it's my job. That's what I do every day, measure. Yeah. It's, it's not it might be. Minutes, no, I know it is, and it's 32. It's a scene, because if this lady dies, we're preserving the scene here. So the yeah. less people that go through it, the better. And I don't know if she wants to come across the corner. But the problem is, if somebody comes from down from an accident investigator's point of view, and something is discovered, I mean, can't see nothing from the eye now, but I'm not an accident investigator. But if something is discovered here and we've trampled it. Accident it, investigating, it's 99% common sense anyway, isn't it? No. Of it, course it is. It, it's an accredited thing, accident investigation. What's that friend of standard? It's a professional standard. It isn't anybody that can do it. I've just worked out what's happened. And I'm not oh, yeah? accredited. Oh, we should call you in then. Well, you should have done it. I still think you should have let us through. Come on. Well, we'll disagree on that. Who's the guy in red? Was he in the car as well? He was in the other car, yeah. Oh, it was a two car collision, was it? Yeah. Sorry, meet the tyrants. I thought you worked out what had happened. I don't mean. <laughs> You are having a, a little bit of banter with this uh, sergeant here. I did find that quite funny, but I thought you'd worked out what had happened here. It, the, you, so you was wrong. I do agree with you in some sort, some stages. 
crime scene investigation, the crash investigations and stuff like that. Most of it is uh, common sense and just looking at the road, the, the road markings, the, the tyre marks, what are on the road and all that good stuff. There is a lot what actually goes into it. But obviously I'm not going to go into all that right now. I did do a course on crash scene investigations yonks ago. But, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I was saying out as, when I got here, it'd be hard to believe anybody got out of that without injuries. So I'm, I'm, let's pray that they're not too bad then, are they? Is she, is she a pensioner? We don't know yet. But we're the all right. Which is why this is all falls off as a team. If it comes back that she's not that bad, we can lift it. But if it comes back she is that bad, ah. we have to have her in play. Which is the reason why that lady doesn't like me, because I won't let her cut the corner and go home. No, no. When she can, go round. It's not... It's not like a, a big drama for her to go around. I think she just house. wanted to announce it was her house. Well, maybe. It was her wall, maybe. Maybe. Maybe she's proud of it. It is a big uh, wall, isn't it? Uh, so I should imagine the house is equally as big inside. Uh, yeah, well, look, there's no gateway here. So she yeah. has to go all the way down there anyway. So it hasn't really put her out. She just wants to assert some kind of... Yeah, I know. I see both sides of it. Oh, good. Well, that way is she. So she doesn't live here. Oh, yeah, yeah, there she is. She's left down there now. All the way down there. So people lie. That's lie. her wall, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'll have you know. So, so even nice old ladies <laughs> lie. Lie to you. Called it. Called that, didn't I? You can tell by the way she was dressed for a start. If she, Her excuse was she's coming out to see if anybody needed any help, but... Yeah, if that was the case, why is it took us so long? The police are already there, they've called and everything off. The the person involved in the crash is already gone. She's got a push bike and everything out. So it's about spotting people's lies. Listen to what they're saying, look at what they're wearing, look at the situation or the, the story they're giving and just pull it to pieces. That's all you have to do. I called that from the off. No, we can't assume that. Well, She's maybe going where she wanted to go anyway. We yeah, can't assume right. that. It's nice to be nice, isn't it? It is. So what was the other car involved? That black one? The other one that's in this scene. Yeah. The black one, yeah. So you're waiting for the guys now, or are they doing their job now? Uh, no, we put the scene on. It'll depend on her level of injury. Ah, oh, right, I see. Very good. Yeah, uh, so we're waiting on an update from medical people. I don't think I was going to pass it same old tea, do you? No, well, I think the show's coming to rat it off, won't they? The fact it's had the boot cut off, the door cut off. Yeah. It's probably done its natural. You always have a small bump these days, and you get through. True, yeah. Oh well. <coughs> nice speaking to you. Okay, Thank you. So that was that interaction. Yes, they had a little bit of a, uh, uh, I would say, banter with each other. But if more police constables, police staff, just security and that lot in general acted the way this this uh, sergeant did the police would have a better image than they do the sergeant was more than willing to have a nice pleasant conversation he wasn't going to back down he, at the end of the day he's got he's got protocol he has to follow and he did regardless if you're an old woman a young gentleman he is going to follow his protocol which is good Hopefully he follows that protocol with everything, like reporting misconducts and stuff like that. But we don't know. But so far, I did like this uh, sergeant's demeanour, his attitude, and the fact that he was just willing to have a nice, pleasant conversation. He's explained some things out and how it worked, which is nice. This is all just my opinion. Let us know what you thought about this in the comments down below. And as always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.